This tutorial is about user-defined functions in MATLAB. A built-in function in MATLAB, such as plot or sum, takes user-specified input and creates some kind of output. A user-defined function is a program that can be used just like a built-in MATLAB function. The function takes user input, performs calculations using that input, and provides results in the form of output. In this video, we will learn how to create such functions and how to use them. Here is the general form of a function. We start off with the keyword function, then out1, out2, and so on in brackets equals function name and then in parentheses inputs and so on. We can have as many inputs and outputs as we want. The name of the file containing your function must be named the same thing as function name in order for the function to be able to be executed. When the function is called, any values can be used in place of in1, in2, etc., but they will be stored in the variables in1, in2, and so on inside of the function. For example, suppose I have a function called myMax that finds the maximum value in a vector. So let's declare this function. I'll comment out this line. We have a function that is going to return max value and max location in the vector equal my max of a vector v. Here the input is a vector called v and the output will be the maximum value along with the location in the vector of the maximum value. When I call this function from the MATLAB command window I can use anything in place of the inputs and outputs. For example, I can type something like val ind will be the two things that I store the outputs in. Notice their names are different from the ones in the function declaration. Equals my max of, for example, I can put in any valid vector. 1 through 10, 75 going by negative 1s down to let's say 50. We'll close that up and that's a, a valid function call. When I hit enter the vector 1 through 10, 75 through 50 will get assigned to v inside the function and after the function completes val will be equal to whatever max val became equal to inside the function and likewise for ind and max loc. It is very important to note that the workspace of functions is isolated from all other workspaces. What this means is that we cannot see any of the variables in the function even after it has executed and from the function's point of view it cannot see any of the variables in the main workspace in MATLAB. For example, if we already had a variable called v in the main workspace it would not change as a result of running the function which also uses a variable called v. It is very important to remember this because only the values that are passed into the function through the input arguments can be used inside of the function. For example, suppose we declare a vector a equals and we'll declare it to be the same thing that we had before 1 through 10 75 by negative 1s down to 50 And then if we call val ind equals my max of a, if we try to use the variable a inside the function, there will be an error, since there is no variable a in the function. We have assigned the value in a to the variable v in the function, and that is what we will, will get used. Let's continue our example. We have the function declaration. Now let's write the main code. In here, we'll write n equals length of v. Max val will get initialized to negative infinity. We'll go through for every value from 1 through n if the value in the vector is greater than max val, 
we replace max val with that value and we replace max loc with that index and that's it so let's save this and notice we get prompted right away to save it as the name of the function which is the right thing to do we'll hit save and now we can execute this function as long as we are in the correct path where the function is stored in this case we are since we just saved it here so now that we've saved the function we can execute it so we'll use the same code that we have right here and hit enter and we get that the maximum value is 75 and the index is at the 11th location so let's look at what we did in the function we first find the length of our vector n then we initialize a max val variable to negative infinity so that any value will be greater than it we then go through each value in v and compare it to the current maximum if it's greater we update the value of the maximum and the index when the function is done we have assigned values to max val and max loc and we pass those out to the main workspace notice in the main workspace over here there are no variables n or ii after executing the code this is because they only exist within the function one thing to point out is that when i call the function i can call it with fewer output arguments than it provides for example i can write x equals my max of a in this case x will get assigned the value of the first output argument in the list of output arguments in the function, in this case, maxvel. However, I usually cannot call a function with fewer input arguments, because then some variables will be missing inside the function that are necessary for the calculations. Overall, functions are a powerful tool in programming. They allow you to encapsulate some code and to reuse it when it is needed. The fact that the workspace is isolated is very important too, since it allows the use of any variable name inside the function for calculations without worrying that it could overwrite a variable in the calling workspace. Finally, you should be careful to name your function something different than built-in functions. For example, I called my function myMax because there is already a built-in called Max. MATLAB will allow you to overwrite built-ins, but it is generally not a good idea.